cancer. How it is occur? Is it be prevented? Is our lifestyle is responsible for spreading the disease? Let us try to find some of the answers. Cancer, let's go start. If you like my video, please subscribe the red button and press the bell icon. Cancer Cancer is a group of disease involving abnormal cell growth with the potential to invade or spread to other parts of the body. These contrast with benign tumors which do not spread to other parts of the body and demonstrate limited growth. Compared to there, uh, there are many dangerous or malignant tumors. These occur when two criteria are fulfilled. Cancerous cell manages to move throughout the body using the blood or lymphatic system destroying healthy tissue in a process called invasion. That cell manages to divide and grow making new blood vessels to feed itself in a process called angiogenesis. There are said to be over 200 different types of cancer. The most common sites of cancer among women are breast cancer, colon cancer, rectum, lungs, cervix and stomach. Cancer mortality is mainly due to metastatic tumors. These are also called secondary tumors. Only 10% of cancer deaths are caused by the primary tumors. Here you see a colon cancer where lymphatic nodes are destroyed and attacked by the cancerous cells. And that's why it is spreading through limbs or blood vessels. Now this is a stomach cancer where also the blood capillaries are ruptured. And you see in this figure, risk factors are very much and it can be occurred through our hereditary. Now in this figure we see the pancreas cancer. Now let us think causes of cancer. Use of tobacco causes about 22% of cancer death and you see here and too much alcohol intake creates 10% of the cancer death. Certain infectious disease, poor diet are also and the obesity are also responsible for our cancer death. and symptoms of cancer. It includes, as you see, a lump, abnormal bleeding, prolonged cough, unexplained weight loss, and a change in bowel movements. So, these are, this red region shows the cancer cells develop. How to detect? Cancer. Imaging techniques such as X-ray, CT scan, MRI scans, PET scans and ultrasound scans are used regularly in order to detect the presence of tumors. Doctors may use a thin tube with a camera and light arrangement to look inside the tumors in the body which also known as endoscopy. So here you see how endoscopies are done and the figures of the inside if there is a cancerous tumors, cells or benign tumors that can be seen through the computer image. So it is very helpful for the diagnosis purpose of the cancer cells. And you see how the cancer cells are occur there. In TNM system, T1 to 4 indicate the size and direct extent of 
of the primary tumor in 0 to 3 indicates the degree to which the cancer has spread to nearby lymph node in 0 to 1 indicates whether the cancer has spread to other organs in the body. For example, if the reading is T1N0, M0 means small tumor that has treatment. The main treatment that are available nowadays are radiation. Here we see how radiations are done by medical radiation therapist and some radioactive materials are taken. A surgery. You know how it is done. A immunotherapy. You see that 3 to 12 month therapy, 40% chance are there for e emission. And now, after that, there will be hormone therapy or dance where different types of chemical hormone, artificial hormones are input inside the body to fight against the cancer cells. So now the fifth one is gene therapy where you see that in the figure adenovirus, retrovirus, plasmid DNA, vaccine DNA are given where white blood cells infected with retrovirus designed to deliver genes, the six processor are given. So you go through the video and see how your information will be gathered. Chemotherapy. As you know it is very harmful to normal cells and if chemotherapy are taken for long for all the years of the body are removed. The mediation that is our now received the insight which reduces the risk of collateral cancer but have side effects. Aspirins we also give reduce the risk of death by 7%. Cox inhibitors decreases the rate of polyformation but has side effects. As hormone therapy, tamoxifen or aloxifen reduce the risk of breast cancer used under the hormone therapy. You see tamoxifen blocks estrogen receptors. Use of vitamins are not effective in preventing cancer but it was seen that people who have cancer got vitamin D deficiency. A vaccine such as HPV decreases the risk of developing cervical, vaginal and oral cancers. But that is V vaccine decreases the risk of liver cancers. Prevention. Within 70% to 90% of common cancer are due to environment factors and therefore potentially preventable by control lifestyle. Many cancers can be prevented by not smoking, Maintaining a healthy weight, not drinking too much alcohol, eating plenty of vegetables, fruits and whole grains. You should avoid excessive eating of red meat, avoid also too much of sunlight, you will can cause cancer and always try to eat whole grains or fresh food. Thank you very much. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you and God bless to everyone.